It's not pizza, it's Abel Skeevers. No, pizza. Say Abel Skeevers. No, pizza. All right, apparently we're having pizza for breakfast. Laura, how's your pizza? Good. Mm. Say Abel Skeever. Abel That's pretty good. <laughs> So I was working with Elise on something and I noticed Laura was missing. I mean, she'd been missing for all of like five or 10 seconds and look where I found her. Laura, what did you do? I hiding. You're hiding? That's one of our non-washable dry erase markers. I found her hiding behind the door coloring. Are you cleaning it off? Oh good, it's coming off. Oh my goodness, I did not think that was going to come off. I'm cleaning this. You're cleaning this? Uh oh! I'm cleaning. That's done. Alright, well I ended up being a mean mom this morning. The kids were not behaving well while we were getting ready to go and they were dragging their feet and teasing and fighting and complaining and they wouldn't get their chores done and they knew we were going somewhere fun so I'm like, come on guys, let's go. Anyway, by the time we were finally ready to go, we were running late and so Jeremy and I were like, why would we take you guys somewhere fun when you're not behaving appropriately? And so we decided to stay home and you know, it feels like almost more of a punishment to Jeremy and I. Like, we don't get to go take the kids to do something fun. Instead, we have to stay home and give them consequences for their behavior. And it's hard. Like, it'd be much easier to just keep going with our day and ignore it. But we can't do that because we want to raise children that know how to behave. At least that's the effort. That's the hope. That's the dream sometimes. I'm a mean mom today. Didn't let them go. And now we're just staying home and just getting schoolwork done. And I'm especially bummed. I love leap day. Like, we had really fun plans for today. But, nah. What are you doing? I'm doing a headstand. Yes, you are doing a headstand. You're doing a headstand on my body. Oh yeah, that's my favorite way to do it. Can you do it without my body? Yeah. Show me. But I can do it longer than not now. What? 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 With my hands, I just push myself up. How do you balance? There's a lot of practice. Well, good job. You're still standing up. You're still going. What'd you make? I make my smoothie. Is that a smoothie? Yes. So for lunch today, the kids are having salads. Grown-up salads. Grown up salads. What's a grown up salad? I'm like, we like to mix up a lot of good things together, like <laughs> carrot. Caleb, we can't understand you because you're talking with your mouth full. <laughs> okay, what's a grown up salad? Um, so, you like put broccoli in and carrots mm -hmm. and lettuce and yeah, it's really mm -hmm. yummy. I'm glad you like it, buddy. I'm really grateful that our kids aren't picky eaters. I know they have their picky moments, but overall they'll eat pretty much anything, and I'm really, really grateful for that. It's kind of a proud mommy moment to see them eating so healthy and being happy about it. Does it tell you in the comments below um, what, what kind of favorite foods do you like? My favorite, my first favorite is salads. Yeah, do you wanna know what they like in their salads, or do you wanna know what their favorite food is? Favorite food, Okay. All right. So Elise is using this math manipulative today. And the assignment that I gave her was to put them in stacks of five and then she's going to be counting by five. And she did that for a little while and we were doing stuff and then I left and I came back and look what she was doing. What were you doing, Lucy? Playing house. Tell me about this. What's this? Um, dad, mom, older sister, older brother, the baby. So that's the family and where do they live? In this house. Oh, you designed this as a house. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really creative. This is the bathroom, and if we push one of these things, um, it comes to a shower or a bathroom. Whichever one you need. Uh-huh, and this is where you wash your hands. And this is all 
the family's bedroom. I just love the creativity of kids. Like I would have never thought of playing house with this toy, like this math manipulative, but I'm glad that she does. Like that makes me really happy. Hi, Laura. This is Laura. Hi, Daddy. No, no, this is Laura. What? It's you, Daddy. No, this is Laura. Daddy. <laughs> stay calm. You stay calm. <laughs> you stay calm. Okay. <laughs> Like, he's just so happy to have little Isaac to be playing ball with. It's so fun. Isaac is running through all of the toy equipment and we're trying to avoid the other people who are having fun, but we're... So, like, for example, look right here. He's trying to catch it through the gate. Oh, so close! <laughs> That's just fun. How old are you? I'm four. What? No, you're not four, you're five. No, I'm four. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. I love you super duper. I love you too. Are you I'm princess, Mom. You're princess? I'm, yes. Oh, that's cool beans. Let's go, Dad. Should we go? Yes. Do you like eating Panda Express? So we came in different cars. Laura's pretty excited that Mama got here. <laughs> She's here. All right, Laura's figuring out chopsticks. She's pretty much an expert already. So we at least wanted to try chopsticks, so once we got them for somebody, now everybody's eating them. You pretty much got it. Hey, what? <laughs> you can go like this. There you go. We are trying the two-handed method. Nailed it. <laughs> So me, I just stick with a fork. It's just the more effective way for me to get the food into my mouth. You at least upgraded from wooden chopsticks to fork chopsticks. <laughs> she outsmarted the system. So we're having a little family lesson and mom is demonstrating what the lesson topic is about tonight. Mom had the brilliant idea of letting each of the children try to do it calm and try to do it overreacting. So that should be fun. Hey Isaac, it's time for bed. You can probably have one more minute, that's fine. And then it's gonna be bedtime, okay bud? Hey Isaac, it's time to get ready for bed. I don't want to. I know, but we have to get ready for bed at night. Okay, you can stop pretending. <laughs> Which one got you a better result? Staying calm or overreacting? Staying calm. That's I so funny. All of us have had better results when we stay calm. Dad's turn. So tonight, Elise and Kendra had an important discussion. Elise came to Kendra about something about how she was feeling about herself. And from their discussion, we decided to make that a separate video all on its own. It's a bonus video you can get a link to the iCard or in the description box. Anyway, we appreciate you watching our family and our vlogs. If you want to get notified when our videos come out, you can subscribe to our channel. Jay House out. And what is it that you came and told me? Um, that <clears throat> I was fat. Doesn't that just break your heart?